Hi everyone, so I'm back with another great off campus opportunity and this one is with Kohei City. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking for internship related opportunities and it is a bit rare but finally it is here as Kohei City is hiring for software engineering interns right now. And in this video we'll be talking about the eligibility, who all can apply, we'll be talking about how you can get your resume shortlisted and eventually crack the interviews. So make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you have the best chance at getting shortlisted. All right. So like I mentioned, Cohesity is hiring for software engineering interns right now. And let me tell you, Cohesity is a pretty great company. It is on FANG level, but it doesn't have the hype that FANG has. So that's a good thing for you. The competition will also be lesser, but the pay and the work-life balance, everything else is up to the mark, up to FANG, right? So it's a great company to work in and you have a chance of getting converted into PPO as well. All right, so let's talk about the eligibility first, because of course you guys want to know about the eligibility. So if you're a 2026 grad or if you're a 2027 grad, you are eligible for this. Okay, so that's a great thing. It is for both 2026 grad and 2027 grad. Now people ask about the degrees in the comments, like which all degrees are eligible. So if you're doing a bachelor's in technology or any related field, the, so related field means if you're doing either BTEC or BCA, MCA, then you are eligible for this. Okay, that's what related field means. So they've clearly mentioned engineering or any related field. All right. So, and again, 2026 grad or 2027 grad, you are eligible for this. So if you are a 2026 grad or 2027 grad, it is a great opportunity for you. Make sure that you apply. But before you apply, don't be in a hurry. I'm going to tell you everything about how to get your resume shortlist. And just a quick reminder that I make a lot of videos about all of the off-campus opportunities and guides on how to crack them. So if you're a college student or a fresher looking for a job or an internship, Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. You'll be seeing a lot of videos about off-campus hirings and dedicated guides on cracking them. All you have to do is be subscribed and stay tuned for the video. Now let's talk about the most important thing that is of course how to get your resume shortlisted. So the basic is of course having a programming language. Now the programming languages that they prefer are C++, Java, Python and Golang. So I know a lot of you guys might not have experience in Golang but if you have then you can put in there because that is something that can make you stand out because as college students we don't really learn Golang but it's not necessary that you know Golang okay but I highly suggest you put either one of Java or Python so if you don't know Golang put one of Java or Python if you know Golang pretty well you don't need any language any other programming language but this is their preference C++ Java Python and Golang so put one of Java and Python Java or Python and if you know Golang then please put Golang as well now this is the programming language the basic stuff now like I usually do I'll also give you a list of keywords that aligns to their job description so the list of keywords will be in the description box you can easily take a look at it and then take the content and put it in your resume but of course don't put anything you don't know about you can learn and then put so for example if you want to put Golang in your resume you can learn about it you can look up some resources, learn it, and then put it in your resume. So like that, I'll give you some keywords that aligns with the JD. And you can have a look and whatever you learn or whatever you know, you can put it in your resume. But don't put anything that you're not sure about. Otherwise, you'll get caught in the interview and you'll get rejected in the interview. It's not going to be a good thing. Okay. So we got the programming languages covered. We got the keywords covered. And as you already know, if you see my videos, the most important thing for internship or for a fresher is their project section so the most important thing as part of your resume is your project section so here you need to have high quality projects Coicity cares about your projects about your dev skills and especially in internship it matters that you have pretty good dev skills okay so you need to showcase your dev skills by your projects so make sure that you have high quality projects don't put any clone projects don't put any basic project try to make try to put some full stack projects some back-end projects or if any other projects also you have just make sure it's not very simple and make sure it's not a clone make sure you make it a bit unique okay and two things very important make sure to put the github link of the project and make sure to put the deployed link of the project these two things are very important now one more thing that is very important and i'm seeing that a lot of you guys are not focusing on is ats score so just a couple of days back i had a resume review and i saw that the ats score of resume was around 60 65 percent so that is not going to work you have to make sure that your resume has a good template it has a good format and of course a good ATS score try to make it minimum 80 percent the more the better but it should be minimum 80 percent don't make it below 80 okay it should be minimum 80 percent so have a good ATS score have a good 
uh, ATS friendly resume with proper formatting, proper template. And I also do resume reviews if you're interested. You can find the link for my top mate. I do resume reviews on there. All right. So once you do all of this, once you have a good resume, you have a great chance of getting shortlisted. People ask about referrals. So for internship, I do not suggest referrals because it doesn't hold a lot of value in internship. It holds value in freshers hiring. But for internship, you can apply with a referral as well. So you can find someone working in Cohesity and then basically ask them for referral. But it's not necessary. Don't worry if you're not able to find a referral. You can apply without a referral as well. But of course, a referral can be a bit better. Not that much an internship, but it can be a bit better. Now, after you get shortlisted, just make sure you make a good resume. Make sure you have a look at the keywords in the description box and make a proper resume. Now, after that, of course, the next thing are going to be about the interviews. So the interviews at Cohesity are going to be of a bit standard level, like going to be a bit difficult. It's not going to be easy compared to other companies because, of course, the pay is good. The WLB is good, right? So I'll be giving you some interview experiences in the description box of Cohesity so that you can have a look at what kind of questions do they ask? What is the interview process going to be like? But in general, you need to be very good with CS fundamentals, especially OOP. And you need to be good with DSA and problem solving. They do focus on DSA problem solving. Remember that. And then you need to be good with your skills, whatever you mentioned in your resume. Right. So I'll give you some resources to prepare. And like I said, I'll give you some interview experiences, both videos and articles in the description box so that you have a good idea about what will be expected of you in the interviews. All right. So just make sure that you have a look at the description box. Everything that you need to crack this is going to be in the description box. All right. So. Just use the link in the description, apply for it. Don't take too long. It has been open for four days, so we don't know it can close anytime soon, right? Don't take too long. Take some time to prepare the perfect resume and apply for it and start preparing for the interviews. And even if you don't get this one, do not worry about it. I'll be making a lot more off-campus opportunities. All you need to do, like I said, is stay subscribed and stay tuned for the videos. All right, so let's see you in the next one.